Sometimes it occurs that the brother who had 50 pounds and he purchased something with 20 pounds, he should receive change of 30 pounds. And sometimes the shopkeeper makes a mistake and he gives him 40 pounds in change. If this brother, he went back to the shop and he said that you gave me the wrong change, you gave me 40 instead of giving me 30, perhaps that person will become a Muslim. A few years ago, there was an instance, uh, there was a bus and you paid the conductor of the bus or the driver of the bus directly and a Yahudi, he came onto the bus and the fare was one pound and, in one pound, and instead of giving one pound, he gave the driver two pounds, meaning double what he should have paid. So the driver who was a Muslim, he began to think, should I return to him the extra euro or don't return to him? Is he going to ask? Is he not going to ask? Does he really care? And when the Yahudi, when he wanted to descend and get off from the bus, just as he was about to get off from the bus, the driver called him, the Muslim driver, and said, come, there's one euro that I owe you. And the Jewish man, he accepted Islam. So the driver said to him, why did you accept Islam now? He said, because I was searching for this trait of trustworthiness amongst the Muslims. And now I have found it in you. So the non-Muslims, they are looking at you and your behavior. And sometimes, maybe a non-Muslim will rebuke a Muslim and say, you're a Muslim and you're drinking alcohol. And sometimes you have a non-Muslim who may rebuke a Muslim for not praying on time at work, that you're a Muslim and you're not praying your prayers. And I've heard there are certain instances where non-Muslims, they want and they desire to live next door to Muslims. And they don't want to live next door to non-Muslims. Why is this? They say because we've noticed that in the areas where the Muslims are residing, there aren't any ghosts. And also in the areas where the Muslims live, there's, you know, we're not irritated, we're not harmed, there isn't the raising of voices and music, loud music, and there are no disturbances. And they know from Muslims that Muslims don't drink alcohol, and if his neighbor was a non-Muslim, and he'd be drinking alcohol, and he comes at late at night, and then he's going to cause an accident and cause damage. So those non-Muslims, they know this and they recognize this, and recognize this regarding the people of Islam, meaning there's nothing now which prevents him from accepting Islam, except one step, and maybe you're that step, you're that avenue.